Is it possible to spend 24 hours in a strip club? That's right, the entire day. Well, we decided to test it out, and this was perhaps one of the worst days of my life. With almost no food, no water, and vulture-like women at every corner, ready to suck your wallet dry for every penny you've ever made, it was a dangerous mission, but we knew we had to do it. After driving a humble two hours, our destination was in sight. The strip club opened at 12 p.m. sharp, right in time for lunch, and it closed at 5 in the morning. The club was open for 17 hours a day. The perfect amount of time for this challenge. You ready to go to the strip club? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we just got done chowing down on McDonald's. I brought the George Washingtons. I withdrew a sum total of $151 bills right here. These $1 bills will allow us to make it rain once every hour or two so they don't just kick us out outright. And to top it all off, I've come prepared in the wannabe Al Capone aspiring mafioso aesthetic right here. I bought the suit at the thrift store. And and Josh over here is looking spiffy, sophisticated, and refined himself. These ladies have no idea what is coming. I'm gonna treat them with the utmost respect. They have no idea, band after band. And with all this being said, the only variable outside of our control is espionage. I'll be keeping my phone camera in my pocket right here. Wish us luck. We're gonna delve deep into the labyrinth we call the strip club right now. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. It looks pretty barren for the most part. The few people that are here are parked in the handicapped spot to give you kind of an indication of the demographic we're dealing with. And I don't know who shows up at the strip club this early in any day. So it says thousands of beautiful girls and three ugly ones. So here I come. All right, here we go, Josh. We're gonna keep it cool, calm, collected, sophisticated, and chic. And we slyly entered the strip club with the ninja camera at Josh's hip. We were immediately accosted and asked to buy two drinks upon entering the club. And we were the only people in the entire strip club. We just got in here. They started us off pretty quickly. We had to buy like a $7 fruit punch, $6 what Powerade, something dumb. It smells pretty heavily of cigarettes in here. I call the booty smoke. Pretty bad smell. But anyways, I feel kind of bad because we're literally the only people right here, but you gotta do your job sometimes, I guess. I, I don't know, to be honest. We're gonna go back into the field. Wish us luck. This Strippers here seem nice so far, so. I want you to show them we're not here to play. Here's a little stack. I want you to make it rain for these girls. All right, brother, I got you. It's his 18th birthday. It's almost like you're 18 yet, but that's cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I just got my first dance by a stripper, and it was interesting, to say the least. So she told me to take my glasses off. I did get a little scared and nervous for what was gonna happen. Anyways, guys, that first experience was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, this place is actually pretty chill, especially at this time. There's nobody else here. It's just Tyler and I. After Josh was introduced to a world of sin, I got back to pondering the meaning of life. I love boobies. That's right, big or small, save them all. Anyways, while Josh sunk deeper into a world of vice, my philosophical reflection was rudely interrupted by a slew of temptations. All right, we're like three, four hours in or something, and Tyler, the ladies are after them out there, but he's just denying them. The man has too much class for these women. We're gonna stick around later. Hopefully there'll be some better women, but Tyler is just big balling out there. We still have a long ways to go. We're getting kind of tired, but we're hanging in there. And look at that selfie, my God. All right, we're roughly an hour in this club. There's no other customers here. Myself and Josh are the only people in this entire strip club, so we are basically more morally obligated to make it rain on every stripper that's gone in thus far. It's really starting to strain on my wallet right now. We're just trying to be ninjas, to be honest. Basically every stripper that comes out, we have to give them like 10 to 20 bucks, just out of pity since no one else is out there and they're kind of forced to dance since we're here. So we're just hoping other people come in soon enough so we don't have to tip and make it rain on literally every stripper. As of now, this is a pretty difficult challenge, but we should be able to make it another 23 hours if things go well. And then since we literally had nothing else to do, Josh and I sat in a chair and watched strippers dance dance for hours, 17 hours to be exact. And sometimes things got kind of awkward, so I just turned my head. Basically right now, any girl that goes up, I'm kind of just turning my head, trying to keep it wholesome, PG, family-friendly fun. And I'm giving the bulk of money to Josh, and Josh is sort of the weatherman right now. He's kind of just making it rain. With my ones, keep in mind, he's having a bit of fun. I'm kind of just there right now. I just want to maintain the integrity and the wholesomeness of this video, so hopefully we're good to go. While I kind of sat there bored out of my mind, Josh 
Josh mustered the courage to go up and ask the strippers for a private dance. They gladly took every bit of green they could find in that man's wallet. Rest in peace, Josh. Okay guys, so I just had a crazy experience. One of the girls out there, her name is Trouble, and let me tell you, she is trouble. I actually talked her down $10, so save some money right there, but let me tell you, she went ham. Let's just say my belt broke. I'm almost certain there's a hickey on my neck now. Bruh. Me and Tyler are dying out there. I am so hot and sweaty after that. I'm literally drenched in sweat after that experience. I'm still in shock, to be honest. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. Okay, we just retreated to a stall right now. We've been in here for roughly an hour and a half, maybe two hours roughly. People are starting to kind of pour in, so I don't know how much time we'll have this entire bathroom real estate to ourselves to do any dialogue, commentary, etc. Josh is having a great time. I've basically okay. given him all my money to have fun with. Um, some girls were like assaulting him the entire time. That was brutal. Yeah, he took it like a pretty good sport. I wouldn't be surprised if we get kicked out. So we're like the only patrons of this female entrepreneurship essentially right now. But um, yeah, they're all actually very nice people. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, they just want our money. Ooh, we'll see how the night progresses, but as of now, we're slowly building base level relationships slash friendships with these strippers. Roughly 20 more hours to go, wish us luck. Only a couple hours into this experience, I had the bright idea of telling these strippers that it was Josh's birthday. So they decided to treat Josh like the guest of honor. <laughs> Happy birthday, Josh. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she came over and gave this to you because it's your birthday. Hey. So that's super nice, actually. Yeah. Go. You should go. You should go. <laughs> I, mean, I thought you were a virgin. Virgo, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm really starting to question the ethical integrity of this entire operation right now, but it's Josh's birthday, so apparently we have to splurge. I don't know. Let's see how many ones we have left. It's roughly four o'clock. We've been here for three hours. We have like $110 left. And after the adrenaline of the exciting afternoon dissipated, Josh and I slowly began to realize that we were actually quite tired. To be honest right now, I'm a little tired. I'm gonna be taking a nap in this stall. Josh, while you're going in that stall, First though, I gotta kind of secure the safety of this toilet, make sure I don't get any herpes or HIV or whatever. And just to give you guys a quick little ETA of how much time we have left, it is 4.46 right now, so we have a humble 12 hours to go. And then after we took a nice little nap in our makeshift bed, we got back in the field. Ready? Oh. Ready to go? Oh, bro, let's get it. I'm dehydrated and I'm only five hours in. I still got like 13 hours to go. I hope I can do it. If I die in a strip club, I mean, I guess there's a worse place to go. He got sold, folks. While Josh was quenching his thirst with another private dance, we eventually made our way out of the club and into some fresh air. All right, we came outside real quick just to reassess the amount of time we've been inside. And yeah, I guess we have, what, 10 and a half hours to go? And after a quick stretch, we prepared to delve deeper into the pit of hell. Are you ready to go indulge in this crock pot of chicanery? The slew of sin? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, let's just go inside, Josh. And while we made our way back into the club, I was approached by an interesting character who asked me as to the quality of the strippers inside. I told him to find out for himself, and he had the greatest night of his life. And while Josh was indulging in even more private dances, I was spending $7 on a bottle of water. All right, Josh is getting bamboozled as we speak by the strippers, and I'm extremely disappointed in myself. I spent seven whole dollars on this bottle of water times two, so $14. Every time I ingest a droplet of water, that's like a quarter down the literal drain. So we have approximately 10 hours left here. To be completely honest, at this point, I'm just getting kind of bored. Meanwhile, amidst my boredom, I was talking to a coke dealing stripper who told me about her experience when she took DMT and was sucked into a different dimension. She said it had changed her life since that day. So logically, after hearing the story, Josh decided to buy a private dance from her. All right, I'm here with Josh. He just had the greatest lap dance of his life, so he says. That's pretty good. Anyways though, I just spent $30 on two massive burritos coming from this local Mexican restaurant. They're gonna deliver them to the strip club, so that should be interesting. And to tide us over, I'll have my $7 water, and you still have your $7 water? Yeah, it's out there, I'm drinking all that. You need to stay hydrated, bro. That must've been a good workout out there. Oh yeah, dude, after that, I'm done. And with that being said, it is 7.52 right now. You might as well enjoy yourself. And while my hunger was satisfied by the taste of a burrito descended from the heavens itself, our hydration levels were at an all-time low. I'm so goddamn thirsty right now and I can't afford another water bottle so here's what I'm gonna do
definitely a little bit of lead in here, but it'll help me survive the next eight hours. Cheers. And while I was chugging my sink water in a desperate attempt to survive, the club's air conditioning stopped working and I started burning up. I'm burning up in here. Their AC apparently doesn't work. This is sink water I'm drinking right now. To put it simply, I feel like dog shit right now. All right, we've been here for a solid 10 hours. I'm just out here trying to get some fresh air right now, to be honest. I feel like I'm trapped in GTA virtual reality or something right now. I just can't escape all these strippers and strobe lights. And while I tried to dance my discombobulation away, a stripper surprisingly forced me to get a lap dance. Yeah, mom, I'm still here, stuck with Josh at the strip club, making sure he doesn't get in trouble or anything. I didn't ask for a lap dance. She made me get one. We had to buy one. Mom, no, 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 no. Mom, no, 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 no. You're fine, you're fine. She made me get a lap dance. You don't understand. It was a good time. It's a good time. Don't worry. But yes, yes, yes. It's all under control. Yes, yes, yes. Sleep peacefully. Have a good night, mom. Stripper got her pectoral oils all over my face. I didn't even ask for a lap dance. Before I knew it, $35 was out of my wallet and this girl's on top of me. I couldn't even stop her, mom. It is 12.02 a.m. Sunday, September 22nd. We've officially entered the next day. So five more hours in the club officially closes and then there's no way in hell that we can like sneak our way into some cardboard box and stay for another seven hours. So 17 hours in the club will have to suffice for this 24 hour challenge. Let's get back in there, shall we? All right, it's 2 a.m. right now. We got three more hours to go. We're chilling right now, having a good time actually. I'm feeling a lot more lively and awake. The mood has picked up. The ambiance has shifted quite a bit in our favor, I think. It's officially 3 a.m., two more hours to go. And with only 20 minutes left and with only one fat wad of cash available, we made our exit from the club on a blazing trail of glory. And we made it. We're done, baby. Let's go. Woo, let's go. All right, we need to get out of here, though. And it is 5.03 a.m. Sunday, September 22nd. We got there at 12 p.m. as of yesterday. That means we were there for some total of 17 hours. Let's recap the situation at McDonald's. We are entering McDonald's to recap. Okay, we just spent 17 hours at that strip club. I feel grimier than a piece of dirt right now. This is their little to-go present they gave to Josh because it was his birthday his 18th birthday how cute they all said anyways though let's take a quick look inside this to see what they gave us we have a strip club branded aspirin a strip club branded condom right here for what use i don't know a complimentary 50 percent off drink coupon i could have used this on the seven dollar water i bought times two a relatively cheap made in china can opener oh what the hell a vip membership to the strip club and probably the best thing out of this entire goodie box is this glowing LED fluorescent cup right here that shines the way into the night. We just spent 17 hours at a strip club. Yeah. Eh, it was all right. Not too bad. We went there for his birthday. Stay safe out here. It was good talking to you. <laughs> she told us we can't leave because we won a prize. Yo, just come and go. Let's go, bro. Just go, Tyler. After we had narrowly avoided a stray crackhead at the McDonald's and escaped unscathed from our odyssey into the strip club, it was time to go to sleep as I drove away into the sunrise. Ah!